Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our quick analysis. So this is going to be a quick analysis on DXY, Gold, and NASDAQ uh, as we just did our weekly analysis. So if you want to see uh, the whole uh, analysis or the complete analysis, just go on our weekly analysis that we done yesterday. So at the moment, what's really happening? Nothing much, guys. Nothing much on the market. So we can easily see that the market, the market, the market uh, on the dollar index, it seems like it's still going to go higher. We see the market uh, breaking out of that range in structure. So it means maybe the market wants to continue going up. And if it continues like that, it means the dollar is quite stronger. And with that, it means we are going to see other pairs struggling, you see. But this week, I think we have P PPI or something like that. Uh, let me see on the calendar. Uh, okay, on tomorrow, it's going to be retail sales. And that is going to be something on, uh, that we have for this week for the, uh, from the U.S. side. Do you see that? So that is going to be the only uh, higher impact news that we get from the U.S. But with this type of structure, guys, it shows us that uh, for, for the dollar, since they did not really cut the rates and they expect in one uh, rate cut, that actually delays everything. So it shows us that, you know, at the moment, the dollar can be stronger for longer. It's possible. Yes, there are some news uh that uh actually speculate that the dollar is gonna get weaker and stuff like that but at the moment and watching the structure there it still shows us that the dollar is still actually uh, quite resistant uh, there you can see that it doesn't really want to go down so obviously we might still see the market continuing with this previous uptrend remember we come in from a, a an, an uptrend right so now this is it was a short breakout now it seems like the market is continuing like that after you see so let's push to the next one let's push to the next one uh, which is going to be gold 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 so on gold if you check this i think this type of a move did happen previously around this level so the market did actually go even higher but started to consolidate around the same level and this was like a, a very long time because if we check the months there i think it was like from november to march uh, that was actually enough that was actually enough uh, uh for for the market actually or for this consolidation you see so if someone is calling me they don't even talk to me they just call hey, this guy so sorry guys let me just yeah, so if you see here, if you check this area, I think uh, around around uh, November to actually March 2024, sorry, Feb, or March 2024, the market was just consolidating around the same level. So even around this area, we might get the same thing. But the overall picture here, it was still an uptrend. So I think the same thing might also happen around this level. We might see this consolidation. And then after the market might continue to go even higher. So if we go closer, it seems like the market is just giving us some clues. But on top of there, we have to be extra careful. Uh, we see that uh, notification from NASDAQ still going higher. So this is what we have. You can see that. So at the moment, we had a very nice push aggressively there. Even here, I did talk about this yesterday. So I also see the same thing that might happen here. So if maybe the market gives us a nice structure, then we have to jump straight to that. Because where we are, it's like this quite similar structure. So the market might start to give us this uh, nice uh, structures, nice uptrend structures like this one here. So that's why I just placed this here. So I'm waiting for a proper structure for the market to show me. So at the moment here, I will try to place a, a nice resistance. If the market breaks out of that, it means that we are going to continue uh, going even higher. But we have to be also extra careful because the market at the moment is still trying to find its way. So we don't really have to fight the market. We don't really have to fight the market. So on NASDAQ, NASDAQ seems uh, like it's still going to be like seriously bullish. 
But we all know that a, a reversal is actually needed. But it's fine. Since the market is breaking everything, it means we need to jump on that. But we need to be extra careful. You can see that the market from this area, we are still on this nice uptrend. Yes, maybe we might still see the market going even higher. But a nice reversal is actually needed. We need that. But here, you can see that we had a nice uh, resistant area. So which means the market just broke out of that structure. So it shows us that NASDAQ is still quite stronger. So should we buy? Obviously, when we, f we follow our structures, we have to because this area is quite similar to this level. So the market did touch that level. Then after that, we had a breakout. So even here, we might be having that breakout. And it means we need to be in those trades. Around this area, we're supposed to have a nice buy pending order. So that if it continues like that, we will be in the market. But the best thing that you can do is not to fight the market. Don't just fight the market. Just go slower because at the moment, we can easily see that the market is actually on a very nice uptrend. But we can even see that this is actually overbought. So if you buy, make sure that you are quite safe. Don't fight the market and try to do some crazy stuff. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So, for those who want to be part of the team, guys, we we have uh, our our sorry our prizes. So at the moment, I don't really see that. I don't really know where it is. But anyways, uh, we actually for today we can say that is the end of the special. Then tomorrow, once I set my things uh, ready there, you will see the new prizes. But uh, let me know if you want to be part of the team so let's go to the next one which maybe might be sorry 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 let's go to the next one which might be a uh, us 30. on us 30 here it shows us that you know what the market is still around that consolidation structure but it's surprising because nasdaq is quite uh, it's just flying but it what can we do we know that these are not really the same things they are quite similar but you know, NASDAQ is actually tech stocks. So these are not really tech stock. On US30, we can't just find tech stock here and there, right? So this is what we have at the moment. The market is still consolidating. So we're expecting the market to reach this support area, so this resistant area, to continue going down. Or maybe the market might end up breaking out. Or maybe the market might break this support area. Then we can continue on this downtrend because the market is no longer on that uptrend. So which means once the market is no longer on that uptrend, we expect the market to continue with this downtrend structure. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, this was our just quick analysis. Uh, I did not really want to do everything so that you can easily go back uh, from uh, to yesterday's video because I think I did cover a lot there. So thank you very much. This is Kenzo. Extra out for I will see you on the next one. Bye.